Philadelphia the day we went to see Philadelphia? <laughs> I got it. That's the guy from Big. Tom Hanks, that's it. And your clock won't flush. Yeah. Huh. You know, I feel kind of bad, you guys. I promised my wife I wouldn't drink. Oh, don't feel bad, Peter. Oh, gee, I never thought of it like that. Hey, did you bring the porno? Did I bring the porno? Uh, the Statue of Liberty? What are we going to do? Boys, boys, we're going to drink till she's hot. Hey, that's just crazy enough to work. And what did you do? Drank at the stack. Oh, I almost walked right into that one. Oh, God. Feels like there's accountants cranking ad machines in my head. Look, honey, I took a cab home. I slept on a table so I wouldn't wake you up. Nothing bad happened. Well, I, I guess you're right. Apology accepted. All right, I'm going to handle. Peter, I like you. But I need you to be more than just eye candy around here. It's your job to watch for any toys that could be hazardous to children. Now look sharp. Uh, yes, sir. Rhode Island has released several highly unsafe toy products into the retail market. Come on, Timmy, throw the silly ball. <laughs> oh, boy, a pound poochie. So it might get a little competitive. Who cares about food? Now we'll never be able to afford my lip injections. Hey, uh, Peter, can we put her out in the yard for a while? Okay, who's hungry? Oh, stop doing that, I'm asleep. So I'm just gonna tell a little lie, okay? Now, not a word to your mom about me getting canned. What's that, Peter? Uh-uh, nothing. Uh, oh, the lost my job smells great. What? Hey, how's your job search going? Oh, it sucks, Brian. I've already been through two jobs this week. I got fired off of that commercial. Right. I know it's a dangerous precedent, but you uh, you might want to just tell Lois the truth. What, that I can't provide for my family? That, that she's always right? That I didn't really stand up to that tank in Tiananmen Square? Is it, Peter? Uh, um... You're getting kind of fat. What? It's it just, it's not healthy. <laughs> Peter, I do my Jane Fonda workout tape three times a week. When was the last time? <sighs> Lois, I promise you, everything's fine. You got nothing to worry about. Well, well, mother. We meet again. Stewie, I thought I tucked you in an hour ago. Not tightly enough, it would seem. Look, I hate lying to Lois. It's just, it, it's the best way to keep her from knowing the truth. Peter, you don't have a choice. Your unemployment's gonna dry up soon, and she'll probably sense something's amiss when they repossess your house. Y y over. We're officially on welfare. Come on, kids, help me scatter car parts on the front lawn. Uh, how much are we getting? Uh, let's see, $150 a week. Wait, that's a comma, not a decimal. President, why do you think the American public has continued to support you throughout these impeachment proceedings? Oh, um, probably because you're so fat. <laughs> Peter, you, you might want to call the Welfare Commission. That, that check is obviously an oversight. Can we afford this? You're not going to believe it, Mom. Dad's getting a uh, uh, big raise. Peter, that's wonderful. But, Dad, I thought... Dad, did a kind of a big raise that allow me to give my kids a big allowance just for keeping... Their... Hey, guys, good to be here in New England. And what's the deal with New England, anyway? It's over 200 years old! Last time I checked, that's not that new. When did you guys get a pool? Oh, it's a moat. <laughs> I know it's silly, but my husband thinks our family needs extra protection now that we're, well, we're rich. Does it work? Well, it was wrong, but I only did it for you and the kids. Except for the jukebox in the bathroom. That was a gift for Peter. Yeah, from the American taxpayers. I am so mad I can't see straight. Well, no problem. We got the money. Peter, you may have to return that money to the taxpayers. Yeah, but I gotta make sure Lois knows I'm doing it. I, I need an event with thousands of people, something that everybody cares about. We might you can barely drive a car, and yet you are allowed to fly a blimp. Yeah, America's great, isn't it? Except for the South. Oh, boy, I hope Lois is watching. Okay, taxpayers, here you go. Bill, this is pandemonium. Have you ever seen anything like this, Pat? Pat? Just watched John, 1975, Cotton Bowl. This is the old trying to make amends for spending 150... Oh, I tell you, Brian, all the rumors about dropping the soap are true. Really? Oh, yeah, you can't hold on to that thing to save your life. Oh, we're slipping all over the place. Guys were laughing. Hey, there's a guy who couldn't hold on to the soap. Oh, that was... For your father's lie. What does it mean when your armpits cry stinky tears? Oh, it means you're becoming a man. But hopefully, not the kind who stays out all day and doesn't call. Like your father wants your toy back. Okay, here you go, honey. Yes, Will. Victory is mine! Ah, Welfare fraud doesn't even matter. Really? Well, let's hope the judge feels that way. This court will come to order.
Well, you know, I figured the sooner I cast a check, the sooner they give a lesson. Mr. Griffin, have you learned a lesson? Oh, yeah, stay the hell away from that bike shop. <sighs> Look, uh, everybody, I feel really bad about what I did. I, I just... Oh, yeah! Excuse me, Your Honor? Yes? Look, uh, my husband... What? 24 months in prison, eh? Unacceptable. Intolerable as it may be, I'm completely dependent upon those wretched drones for sustenance. Let us see how the Iron Constitution of American Justice... All right, you're off the hook. Oh, wow! Can you give me my job back? No. Yes! All right! <laughs> Rich. Oh, don't worry, I got a way to get money. Not another welfare scam. No, no, no. Minority scholarship. <laughs> Moves into the Vatican. Hi, I don't know who to complain to about this, but I'm still getting XVIII's mail. Yeah, no, no, he's not here anymore. This is XXIV. Yeah, no, I don't need Newsweek. No, I don't need National Geographic. Hello? Oh, hey, Quagmire. Hey, you're not gonna believe this. I'm over here with Joe, and he's got a space alien. <laughs> Peter, wake up! Man, they're gonna be so good at swinging bar to bar when they invade. Wow, Quagmire, how did you build that part so fast? It was easy. I just followed the instructions. I couldn't find the English ones. These are in Latin. And those stuffy Ivy League professors won't help me. <laughs> They're unbelievable. The girls up in Canada are gorgeous, and they all play ice hockey, so they lose their teeth by age 10. Wow. In fact, I'd even go so far as to say that a Canadian strip club is the most magical place in the world. To watch them pee in Canadian nudie bars. <laughs> <laughs> A guy can get his hockey pucked in Canadian nudie bars. That sounds incredible. We gotta go. Stabbed in the butt. All right, Bradley, here's your question. What is the atomic weight of nitrogen? <gasps> get him, guys. Stab him in the butt. Okay, bye, you guys. I'm leaving now. Peter, tell me again. Not Kelly Preston. Oh, my God, this plane is awesome, Quagmire. Hey, who's that? Oh, that's Jay Private Planington. He invented private planes. He was also the world's foremost squid hunter. I got a lot of big ideas, too, but... There is! I saw him! Peter, stop being ridiculous. I'm telling you, lift up the shade. There's a man on the wing! <sighs> fine. It's me. I'm the man on the wing. Peter, how the hell'd you get out there? Are you crazy? Get back in here, Peter! Yeah, we crashed. Wow. Still, you know, we saved so much trouble not flying commercial, I think we came out ahead. Sure. Drive right up to the plane. Exactly. If we went to Logan, that plane wouldn't crash for another hour at least. Okay, these are a maybe. Hey guys, I think for the time being, we're gonna have to start thinking in terms of survival. Yeah, we're just gonna have to do what Davy Crockett would do. I mean, that guy killed a bear when he was only three. Tough. I better go through it all. Stuff, stuff, stuff and stuff. History and stuff and stuff. People, people, someone's name. History and sports. Big disaster, someone's name, stuff and stuff and stuff and stuff. History, someone's name, something I don't know. Famous guy, move in the fire. Okay, we still got nothing to eat, so it looks like we're gonna have to hunt animals for food. And since we have no weapons, I set up some traps and snares. Well, I was about to take a leak. Can I go in that direction? Yes. Ah! Take it all in at the beach, guy. <sighs> Excuse me, sir. This is private property. What are you doing? <sighs> Just taking it all in. You're staring at my daughter's bedroom. She's really grown into her. Uh-oh. What? Well, I hate to ask you this, Quagmire, but do you know how to change a diaper? Yeah, of course I know how to change a diaper. I saw Mr. Mom four times. To intrude on your plane crash. Well, this is great news. We're saved. Yes, I suppose so. Listen, why don't we head back to my place, grab a bite to eat, and watch the big curling match on TV? Canada's in the world final against Mexico. Peter. I think he's gone. There's gotta be something we can do.
do? Well, the odds were always against us. Most black men don't possess the skills to survive out here in the wilderness. M my husband isn't black. Oh, boy. Well, then we need to regroup because... Kids, your father made this. That's so weird. Dad gets lost in the woods and he makes a doll? Eh, it's not that strange. It's kind of what Tom Hanks did in Castaway. What the hell? It's from two months in the wilderness. Yeah, it's weird. He doesn't even talk. Well, he was living among wild animals for two months. And you know how impressionable your dad can be. Hmm. Well, that's gonna be a challenge. But it can't be any harder than folding that thousand-mile-long sheet. All right, I got my corner. Everybody ready? Ready. Chris? Ready. Meg? 